There's Nina. Get on here, woman. My lighting is horrible. Hey. Yeah. Sounds like it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that the tears coming down because they're so tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> How goes it? Well, I didn't. I don't hear a pitter patter feet. So, uh, <laughs> so so far so good. Guys, Lennon can oh, get out of his bed, and he does not stop getting out of his bed. He's so not in a crib no more. I need. I need some. Well, he's still in it, but he can climb in and out. So we need to get a bed asap. We just haven't been able to get a bed yet. So he literally climbs in, out, in, out <laughs> for hours. So Tuesday tip for me, people: How do you keep your three year old in bed? Please. Tell Poor me kid. everything. I need to know everything. I he's even locked like, the door and he's like, I don't care. Lock the door. <laughs> and then he'll wait till it's unlocked and then he comes right back out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other topic that could literally go on for hours. But I know. Oh, <laughs> How are you? Oh, just disastrous. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, we have a rental car. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Never ending, right? Yep. Life can throw you some pretty messed up curveballs. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm not even going to tell you that when I, we had my, we had my sister, my sister's car, she lent us her car mm -hmm. and I was at the gas station. I'm like, okay, I'm going to fill it up with gas, you know, to top it up for her. And I locked the keys in the car. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> yeah. So it's actually a car that has a feature that automatically locks when you leave the car oh. and I had the keys inside. Yeah. Not, not a good feature for Nina. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Your sister should have turned off that feature. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That is yeah. horrible. Yeah. Anyways, whole night affair, right? Yeah. So Tuesday tips. So we're going to yeah. make it short and simple. Um, mm -hmm. cause we are, you know, going crazy. exhausted moms. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So our theme is Norwax. Um, Sam and I have been a long time supporter and believer of this company. Um, we just love the idea that you can reduce your waste, you can reduce the products and the chemicals that you're using in your home by just using a simple product. Um, so we wanted to talk about the cloths. Mm -hmm. Reusable cloth. Yes, the reusable cloth. So I have used these and this was like what I used well before any I, I fad found clean um, quality products. So I was just washing my face every day with this, these cloths right here. And I actually just looked it up on the internet and there's, um, you can get three pack for $21.99 at Norwax. And Sam and I don't sell them, but we definitely advocate for these products because we love them. Mm -hmm. So you can just wash your face with water. Um, and because they're so tightly woven, that they just remove. It's great for taking off your makeup and cleaning your skin. Mm -hmm. So you have, love the, them. you have the makeup remover one. Yes. And you like the other one, right? I like the other one, the body one. Yeah. Yeah. So they're both, I think yours is more microfiber. This is more like a chamois. Yeah. So it's so tight, um, the, the, the weave of it. So that's what helps with the natural. Just add water take off your makeup and it removes everything. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. They're awesome. And mm -hmm. again, you're not using containers. You're not using chemicals. You're just literally using water and cloth. Yeah. So mine are different companies. So I also use, um, these, uh, how do you say them? I think you say that they're called the muslin muslin cloths. Yeah. 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 So I have a bunch of them. This one is actually a beauty counter one. Beauty counter used to sell them. Um, yeah, this is a beauty counter one. Um, yeah. But I also use ones from a company called Pi, P-A-I, and they're very, like, they're a very natural, um, sensitive skin line um, out of the UK, but they have warehouses here in Canada. They're similar to beauty counter and with respect to they put a lot of their products in glass, which I like, and they use, like, minimal ingredients. It's specifically for people with sensitive skin. So I have a bunch of their cloths too. And so what you need to look for when you use these is to get organic cloths. Make sure they're organic. And it's good to have, you know, like five or six of them. So you can use one per night and then wa wash them and reuse them. Um, 
Same thing with these. These are very tightly woven as well. <clears throat> so it helps to ex gently exfoliate your skin. Um, and I just really like it when you use something like the cleansing balm or um, the, the cleansing oil that Beauty Counter yeah. has. You like rub in the cleansing oil and I like to really use these cloths to like get it off and help take my makeup off. So again, it does, yeah, it does more than just your like water in your hands. It helps to actually like take off, takes it off, off the surface and exfoliates, yeah. like gets rid of like the dead skin on your, on your skin. If you don't want to use any like harsh exfoliants. And yeah. it's just, again, the concept of reusing, we're using this over and over instead of using other things. Yeah. And our last item, don't you have one of these? Yeah. So I show do, yours. yeah. These are super duper duper cute. I had never yeah. heard of these yeah. Um, until we started going to a greener place. And so that's the awesome um, like zero waste store in Waterdown. I'm there often, at least twice a month. You've been there a couple times. Yeah. yeah. Um, the owner is so sweet and nice. And she um, let us try these. They're called Ten and Co., <clears throat> I, I'm not exactly sure what they're made of. I think they have some kind of, co I would assume cotton. I, I don't know what they're made of. some sort of cotton. Yeah. They're like similar to the concept of the beeswax wraps, but they yeah. have um, like a different consistency, but they basically feel and look like paper towel <clears throat> and you can use them to clean up anything. Like you can wipe your countertops with them. If your kids spill milk or water on the ground, you just literally, this will suck up a whole cup of water and then you just take it and, and um, clean with it. Um, it replaces yeah. 17 rolls of paper towel. Wow. It can be washed 200 times. So this can be washed 200 times in your dishwasher or your um, washing machine and then yeah. you can reuse it. And then once you're done with it and it's no longer usable, it's biodegradable and you can put it in your green bin. Yeah. So how awesome is that? Yeah. And Super absorbent. Like yeah. it's very, very ideal. And I think for practicality's sake, again, this would also be ideal to have at least five mm -hmm. of, I, yeah. I think just kind of kept in, you know, those secret places that you often have spills and cleanups. Yeah. They have but bigger sizes too. Yeah. Yeah. And my favorite... Space Sorry, go. It's basically like a reusable uh, paper towel. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so glad we found them. They're really awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I like that it's biodegradable. And also, oh, I'm not sure how much they are. Do you remember? I can't remember. When, we post, when we post a picture on Instagram, we'll put the price. Yeah. And we'll put a link to a greener place so you know where the store is. Yes. Um, but I think they're pretty cost effective considering yes. you, can, you can wash them 200 times. Yeah. And, well, and, the, and you think about how much money you're saving. Like, we don't buy paper towels. No, I don't buy paper towels either. It's such a waste yeah. of money and, like, all the packaging that they come in. Even at yeah. Costco, I hate when you see, like, the paper towels or the toilet paper, and they're in a big thing of plastic, and then each roll is covered in plastic. And I'm thinking, like, are you guys kidding me? Like, I know. Do you not read the news and <laughs> know, I know. that plastic is bad? So, yeah, you don't need to buy paper towels, especially when there's options like this. I actually yeah. saw the owner of this um, company. She was at the Rise Business Conference. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and yeah. she was doing, like, little Instagram posts. So I think that's really cool, and I oh, hope she has cool. great success. But what I was going to say is at a greener place, and I think online, they have really cool Christmas prints right now. Oh, cool. So a good idea is, I've been seeing, is you wrap them around um, wine bottles, Nice. So instead of getting those bags <gasps> or wrapping paper or anything, you put this around a wine bottle with a ribbon, and then you're giving a reusable cloth and a bottle of wine. Look at you, little Miss Creative. I like it. I know. Might be your Christmas <laughs> present this year. <laughs> I like it. We'll be swapping bottles and cloths. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's a great idea. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Short and sweet. Yep. Tuesday in the midst of this crazy November storm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And speaking of plastic, like, did you see the posting of the poor coyote with his head in the plastic oh, container? Oh yeah. That was awful. If that doesn't hit home people, then I don't know what's going to, because that's local. That was in Oakville. Yeah. And, and the like poor coyote. A wild animal had a plastic yes. container. I know it was I sad. Know. I'm glad that they found him and caught him. 
I agree. We were able to get it off because he would have died. Yes. With that thing on his head. Yes. And he was poor, like straggly and already looking like he hasn't been eating. So I know. let it be a lesson for us. Kick the plastic habit, people. Yes. A hundred percent. No more plastic. Reduce as much as you possibly can. And that's our goal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, have a great night. Thanks. You too. Get to bed. You too. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.